Hey there, and welcome to Retouching Skin Part 2. In this section, we're going to be removing blemishes. We'll show you guys how to identify blemishes, as well as how to get rid of them, using a couple different tools, including the Clone Stamp tool, the Healing Brush tool, the Spot Healing Brush tool, and the Patch tool. All right, let's go ahead and start off with our first image. So we're going to hit F for full screen and go ahead and zoom in. Okay, now <laughs> we're working with a couple of models who have very, very good skin to begin with. So we don't have a ton of work to do, but we're going to show you the essential techniques that you can pretty much use for anyone. All right, the first thing we're going to start off, and this is how I start off with all of my skin retouching, is generally removing small blemishes. So we're going to create a new layer above our background layer, and we're going to go right over here to our healing brush tool. Now we'll talk about the spot healing brush tool in just a minute, but for now, I prefer the healing brush tool. So the healing brush tool, we want to make sure we're on mode is normal. The source, you want to be sampled and you want to make sure you're sampling here, the current layer and below. That's going to allow you to do this on a new layer. Okay. Now this tool couldn't really be any more simple. Basically you hold alt or option to create your sample point. So for instance, if I want to remove that, I'm going to hold alt or option and click on this point here. And then I'm just going to simply paint right over that spot and then it's gone. It's as simple as that. I can even see a little preview of what I'm actually going to wind up painting. All right, let's try this one over here. Alt or option, sample there, and paint right over that. All right, there we go. And that's how we use our <laughs> healing brush tool. Now, you can see there's a little bit of a preview here. If you go to window and then down to clone source, all right, you should see this show overlay button. You can have this preview either be visible or not visible. I actually prefer to not have it show up. So um, if you want it there, clone source is where you can find it. All right, so the healing brush tool works so well because it takes the texture of wherever you sample and the color of wherever you paint and it combines the two together. So the way we start off with pretty much every single retouch is with the healing brush tool because it just does a really good job at cleaning everything up and getting rid of all of our little blemishes. Now, when it comes to retouching skin, it's totally up to you on how detailed you'd like to go. Generally, I like to get rid of things like, you know, any little bumps and imperfections and whatnot in skin, as well as any color variation. All right, there we go. And you can see I'm just sampling an area that's relatively close to the area that I want to paint and then painting right over it. All right, so sample here, paint over the nose, sample the nose and paint over the nose again. And you can do this, uh, well, pretty much do this all day. The thing is, you'll get it to like one point and you'll be like, oh good, I got all the blemishes I saw. Um, and then it'll be like so perfect, you'll start to notice new blemishes that you didn't notice the first go round. And then you just keep going and going and going. Um, <laughs> I would say, you know, spend four or five minutes on, on an image and then, you know, anything else that, on top of that is probably you're probably the only person who's going to notice this, notice it. So um, get rid of the majority of things, um, you know, but don't don't make people look like absolutely perfect because no one does. You know, it's just not it's not realistic. Um, you know, there are a lot of ways to go about retouching. You you can totally retouch people to the point where, like, they don't look real at all. And maybe you want that. Maybe that's part of your like, um, you know, maybe that's part of your aesthetic that you're going for. Um, I think it's a lot more interesting to make people uh, look, continue to look real even after they're retouched. All right, we'll do the same thing for that little area in his lip. All right, and continue to come on down here for some facial hair. All right, now these two lines, I don't mind getting rid of those completely, so we'll sample right above. All right, and paint that in. There we go. And we have a couple like dark spots in his skin and things like that. And then any of this hair that seems kind of like out of place or, you know, funky or like that little mark on there. This is the sort of thing we're going to take care of. All right. And when you're working, I would say most of the time, um, this is worth doing on the face. When it comes to the body, um, generally I would just do a very, very quick job with the healing brush tool. Spend most of the time retouching on the face because that's where all the little details tend to matter. All right, there we can see. 
so I'm, I'm talking and this is one of those things where like you can totally have like a movie on and you know you don't have to pay a lot of attention here it's just uh <laughs> just a little bit of blemish removal all right you can also take care of this sort of thing now if you don't have a good area to sample that's when i suggest using the spot healing brush tool so the spot healing brush tool let's create a new layer we have a couple options we want to make sure are checked normal content aware and sample all layers all right and that's going to just allow us to paint over little areas like this and have them completely removed what the tool does is basically search for anything that's similar to wherever you paint in texture and covers things up if you have a line like that it's also going to try to continue the line like if i do like that it's going to try to continue the hairline as well which is really nice um, the healing brush tool will not do that okay the healing brush tool will give you something that looks like that so um, spot healing brush tool when set to content aware is going to just do a little bit better of a job at like predicting what you may want all right so i recommend using both tools getting familiar with both tools and that way you know you may find yeah i like using the healing brush tool most of the time but in some cases the spot healing brush tool just works a little bit better all right there we go and kind of cleaning up some of these guys as well the spot healing brush tool you don't have to hit alter option by the way so that it does make it a little bit um faster only thing is you don't choose your sample point so sometimes this tool will choose skin texture that you don't you know undesired skin texture uh, the face has a lot of different changes in skin texture it's like every like millimeter or something like that the skin texture on someone's face changes like you can see the texture here on this chin it's very different from the texture on the cheek and very different from you know this right under his eyes and his nose and things like that so just keep in mind that that's the sort of thing that you want to um, you want to make sure you sample the correct areas whenever you're doing your retouching all right that looks pretty good as far as the face is concerned and you can do shirts and stuff like that but for now <laughs> We're, this is our section on skin, so we're not going to worry about his shirt. Let's go ahead and group those. Let's see the before and the after with that. All right, so you can see just a couple minutes with our healing brush tool and our spot healing brush tool really does clean this up a lot. Like this is, you know, I wouldn't say this would have bothered me, but after seeing the after, I'm like, wow, that is a lot cleaner. All right, so there's our first couple of techniques. The next tool we're going to show you is the patch tool. So our patch tool, we're going to go right down here. It's spot healing, healing, and our patch tool. Now for the patch tool, I'm going to create a new layer. Okay. And we're going to make a stamp visible. Shift option command E makes a stamp visible. And the reason I'm using a stamp visible layer is because if I were to create a new layer and try to use the patch tool, it says I can't do it because the selected area is empty. So we have to do that on a layer that has something on it. Now you can choose your patch to be content aware, but I find that a normal patch tool actually works a little bit better most of the time. So how does the patch tool work? Well, basically the patch tool allows you to select an area. Let's say we select this whole area and replace it with texture from a different area. So as I let go, we replace a whole area. You could do a whole like eye if you wanted, like, you know, it would blend the color from this area. Not saying that that's a, you know, good idea or ever that helpful, but you can do it if you want. Okay, so for instance, areas like this sometimes, like that's a whole big area. Maybe I would prefer that taken care of with the patch tool. And if any areas kind of mess up on you, you can just click and drag them over and, and redo them. Remember, it's going to take the color from wherever you do the patch. Okay, it's going to take, there we go. It's going to take the um, texture from wherever you drag it to. So it'll take the texture from here and the color from there, and it'll wind up blending those two together. So again, the patch tool is great when you have a little bit larger area that you'd like to take care of. And generally I reserve the patch tool for like areas like this around the eyes. There we go. And other fine detail areas like that. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in. And now we're going to do some below the eye right there. All right. Keep in mind, it's going to take the texture from wherever you drag it to. So 
try to drag it to a similar a place that has similar texture if you can. All right, that looks pretty good there. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out and see our patch tool. There's a before and the after with that. All right, now in this case, I don't really like this area over here, so I'm just gonna erase that. There we go. And then we're gonna try this again. We're just gonna patch tool this again. So this time we'll select out this, which is just kind of like a line there. Bring that right down there. It's gonna kind of bring everything together. Alrighty. There we go. And we're gonna bring that in as well. All right, that's looking really good. So let's turn that on and off. You can see it's, well, I didn't need it over there. It's a, a lot cleaner, especially this area in the eyes. So if you have a large area, that's when your patch tool is gonna come in. If you have a small area, that's where your healing brush is gonna come in. All right, let's go ahead and group all those and take a look at the before and the after. All right, so this is the first step in retouching in Photoshop, guys. It's basically getting rid of your blemishes. All right, let's switch to the other image and we're basically just going to be doing the exact same thing. So we've got a couple different skin types and we're going to be doing similar techniques on each of the images. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in and now we're gonna start off this time with the spot healing brush tool. And I'm just gonna go start painting over everything I see that I, <laughs> Basically everything that I want gone. I'm just gonna paint right over. All right. And thankfully our subjects have really, really great skin. Now, if you're photographing someone who has pimples and things like that, it's really the same process here. It's paint over the thing you don't want and sample the thing that you do want there. And get rid of this hair too as well. Let's see that as like a blemish. Not like a traditional blemish, but on the photo, we don't want it there, right? All right, and we have a little bit of spots and things like that. Even if you have things like this, which are basically just like makeup lines, this tool is gonna do a really great job removing this sort of thing as well. All right. There we go. I love this tool. It makes retouching so much easier. All right, not to say that this is all there is to retouching, this is just the fir first part of it, but it gets you a lot of the way there. There we go. Cover that up. And this hair as well. All right, we're gonna zoom out and take care of a couple more areas here. Sometimes I just click this and start painting everywhere and then see how that looks. Um, in this case, it looks horrible right there. So I'm gonna grab the eraser tool and erase that away. That did not help. All right, there we go. So again, same tool here. We're coming in with the spot healing brush tool and I'm just working on all these little areas. Any like creases or lines in the skin. This. I'm actually gonna wind up leaving that little guy there because it's um, the little mole is just, it's a part of her and those sort of things should be left. Um, there we go. I think of like Cindy Crawford without a mole, you know, you don't, <laughs> you don't wanna go retouching out a mole or something that is a defining facial feature for someone. It's just not, there we go. Not necessary. We don't all need to be 100% perfect. Sorry, I'm not perfect. All right, there we go. Okay, now you can do the same thing on other parts of the skin too, like this little guy there. Let's paint right over that. Okay, and if it doesn't match the skin texture exactly, just paint over it again, and most of the time that's all you need to do. Dunk. All right, there we go. Let's cover that hair up too. All right, I don't need to do all the hairs, but you get the idea. Basically, we find the things that we don't want there 
and we paint right over them. All right, beautiful. Let's see if we can create a new layer here. I'm gonna grab our patch tool and see about taking care of little areas like this. Oh, make sure you have a stamp visible layer. So shift option command E is gonna get you there. All right, sometimes we'll do little areas like this as well. And then if it's too visible, I'll go to edit and then down to, sorry, where is the fade command? Shift command F, there we go. Fade patch selection. Okay, which is shift command F, which I'll just do in the future. Okay, so if you have like a patch, like for instance, this area, I wanna like make the area around her nose a little less visible. So I'll go ahead and patch that out to like right there. It looks good, but look at that, it's completely gotten rid of that, which we don't want. So shift command F allows you to fade the last thing you did. And with a patch tool, it can be super helpful. So we'll show you how to do it a couple times. So basically we'll select out that area, bring it down there, then hit shift command F and it's gonna fade the last command. This works on everything by the way, like even if I just paint it with a brush and hit shift command F, I can fade that last thing that I just did, okay? It's a really, really cool way to just kind of like step back in time just a little bit. All right, so we could take that area, bring it over there, shift command F, to fade that out. It's just a really nice way to get these sort of things retouched, but also still look pretty real. Like that little thing right there. Just take that, bring it over there, and fade it out. There we are. Let's zoom out a little bit, see if there's any other areas that we wanna take care of with the patch tool. Maybe that little dark area there. All right, shift command F and hit okay. All right, looking good. So let's turn this off and on.